brother, and you got the president of the United States this morning tweeting that the Second Amendment will never be repealed. We must have more repu Who's calling okay. for a repeal of the so, Second Amendment? So, well, Who's just, calling for Justice it? Justice Stevens did. But he did not. It was in the context of a conversation about the fastest route to legal change. And of course, if you hadn't, didn't have a Second Amendment, you wouldn't have Heller. It would be easier to change the laws. He's not a politician. He's not in office. He's not the head of any kind of significant group. It's well, a boogeyman. He was a, form, and that he was does a former not Supreme breed, Court justice. That, that, that actually, does not breed unity. It's a I, boogeyman, look, and you know it. I, look, there have been boogeymans all both sides, and that's the point I've been trying to get to, which is there are things that, in fact, can unify us, and what we see is demonization. You, you point to the right. I will point to the left. Look at what the, they've done to Marco Rubio. I mean, Marco Rubio has been out there trying to do everything he can to stop these horrific events. That's not engaging true. Engaging young people. That is true. That's not that, true. He's no, doing negotiations. He's talked about the kinds of bills. He's not working on any meaningful restriction of access. Because he is trying we, to do some red flag work. That's all good and fine. But but do not put Marco Rubio out there yes, as someone who's at the Be, forefront Chris, this of is, the most this progressive is, ways to end these shootings. This is the problem that, that, that we have here. If you don't agree with you on a particular solution that you agree to, that somehow or another you're, you don't care about this. That's, that's wrong, your, Chris. That's you your can't take. Demonize, but no, you can't I'm not demonize demonizing people. anybody. Yes, you are. How you're so? saying that he doesn't care about trying no, to solve I never this said problem that. because... I'll send you the transcript of this. You're thinking okay. it in your head because it's convenient, okay, but it's tell not me what coming out of then, my Chris. mouth. Well, tell me what, what I'm you're saying, saying is access about who gets weapons and how is the fundamental question in this situation, okay? It just is. I'm not calling for a weapons ban. I'm not calling for anything. It's up to you and your ilk to figure out the answers. Well, but it's not access my ilk. I'm, I'm matters you do now, how but... we deal with the mentally ill, if you're talking about mass shooting specifically, that. which is ignoring the larger problem of gun violence in this country. But that's fine. This matters, too. It's a discrete issue. It has to be dealt with. On those two issues, Marco Rubio sat at that town hall. He says he disagrees with certain things about controls and background checks and how universal they should be. But those are fundamental questions. So don't put him up at the top of the leaderboard about who's trying to make the positive changes that would uh, change this situation. However, it would be unfair to say he is doing nothing. I agree with that. I never said he was doing nothing. He's doing things. But to put him up at the head, that's out of convenience. That's